Shalom and blessings. Thank you for being here once again with us as we journey in God's word today. We have been looking through this week on the topic of faith and we are looking uh, at Hebrews 11 uh, going forward. Yesterday we looked at how Jesus was the author and finisher of our faith. As we explore Hebrews 11 and look at the journey of many people listed there, let us remember that it is not our aim to be like these characters, but it is our aim to be like Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith. Today, we are going to be looking at Abel, who had a faith-filled heart. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 4, By faith, Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, through which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts, through it, uh, he being dead, still speaks. So Abel is the first name that is in this hall of faith, and his account is written in Genesis 4. We see how Abel brings a sacrifice to God just like his brother. Abel brings the firstborn of his flock and fat portions, whereas Cain brings uh, the fruit of the, of the ground. We see how God looks with favor on Abel's offering, but was displeased with what Cain bought. We do not know in Genesis, we do not read in Genesis why God was displeased. But in this account, we, the, the writer of Hebrews tells us that uh, it was bought in faith and that is what pleased um, God. So when we look at the verse, we, found, we find how Abel brings an excellent sacrifice and through this he was commended as righteous. Abel gave his first, he bought his firstborn. Abel gave his best, he bought the fat portions. And Abel gave what was right. In, you know, when he gave the sacrifice, he didn't do it as a ritual or a requirement, but he did it knowing that God would provide for all his needs. So God was not just, sacrifice, uh, was not just pleased with the sacrifice, but he was also pleased with the heart that was behind it, the faith that was behind that giving. We also see in this verse of how uh, Abel was declared as righteous for the faith that he displaced in offering his sacrifice because he believed that God would accept him with the sacrifice that he had bought. Uh, through the last part of the verse, we also see that even though Abel died young, um, his heart of faith speaks to many. It, it continues to speak because of the faith that he displayed while, uh, while he gave his offering. So what do we understand? Do we have a heart of faith? Do we do things with a heart of faith? The lesson that we have and we can learn about is the way Abel's heart of faith determined his actions. We see that Abel continued to uh, please God he, through his, his sacrifice, through his faith. So let's look at today and examine whether we have a faith-filled heart. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for what you have taught us through the life of Abel, that you stir our hearts to have a, a heart filled with faith, that our actions, that all that we do will come as a result of our faith. And we know that when we do that, you will commend it to us as righteousness. We pray that you guard our hearts, Lord, and you sustain us as we move ahead with a heart of faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.